Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at one of my favorite fighting games growing up that is not Street Fighter with Sega's Virtua Fighter. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. Virtual Fighter 5 was developed by Sega AM2 and released by Sega way back in 2006 for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. The game was released in the arcade using Sega's Lindbergh arcade system board in 2005 before being released on consoles. Later the game would see an update on the PlayStation 4 with Final Showdown and eventually another update for the PlayStation 5 with Ultimate. One of the main reasons I decided to become a PlayStation Plus member, besides getting the games they give of course, was able to download an update version of Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown. Playing this update on the PlayStation 5, it reminded me all the good times I did have way back on the Xbox 360 online and wishing for Virtual Fighter 6. Not really known for its story, Virtual Fighter really refines their installments with new characters and refined gameplay and its core really doesn't change that much. The main boss, Dural, remains intact as the ultimate fighter with V Dural in the fifth installment. Not really having many friends who do own a PlayStation, I wasn't really able to get an old feeling again playing online. I quickly wondered if the Xbox 360 online system would still work with backwards compatibility and asked a friend to join me. The visuals here were a major update from each console generation it's been on, from the Sega Saturn to the Sega Dreamcast, PlayStation 2 to the HD version on PlayStation 3 and the 360. The game has aged quite well with its animation of the characters alongside with the beautifully designed backgrounds. Of course, with the extra horsepower with the PlayStation 5, the game runs and plays better than ever. This is where I wondered if the game was even still supported online after 17 years since its release on Xbox Live. And you know what? It did actually work. Of course there was no one online except me and my friend, so that ruled out any other competitors, but we had a lot of fun rehashing the good old days one on one. The gameplay is tried and true virtual fighter for better or for worse, from the very first without the insane floating jumps easy to navigate, the game is easy to jump in, but also requires a bit of strategy, parries, blocks, and anticipating your opponent to win. I always found Virtual Fighter as a thinking man's fighting game. There were hiccups with lag that was expected that did punish both sides from time to time, as Virtual Fighter has a very precise gameplay mechanic, just like any other fighting game, for the most part, that did cause a bit of frustration but reliving the fun again was completely awesome. Overall, I was very pleased with the matches and had a lot of fun for the game that really still holds up, which is begging for a true sequel and not just mere updates. Hopefully Sega realizes this in 2023 as they look for that year for fighting games with Street Fighter 6, Tekken 8, and Mortal Kombat 12. That's it for this retro look at online gameplay with the golden days of the Xbox 360 with Virtual Fighter 5. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and gray. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Uh
Uh.